Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jeremy with J Baker Style, where we help the average man build an above average style. Now today, I'm going to teach you guys how to tie a tie. And it's going to be two of my favorite knots. They're versatile, they're easy to do. When you're on a rush and when you have somewhere to go, you can easily put these knots together and get out the door and look stylish and clean. So the first knot that I'm going to tie is the forward hand. It's probably the easiest and fastest way that you could tie a knot. Uh, especially if you're in a rush, you can put it together real fast and be out the door. First, you're going to cross the larger end over the smaller end. You're going to bring it around the back of the tie, over the top. Under the bottom, through the loop, and through the loop that through the front loop that you created. Bring the tie down. See how you created the tie? And then after that, you're basically just manipulating the tie to give you that perfect look. Now a trick to add those little dimples is to just create a little pinch and you can create those dimples if you're if you're if you like that in your tie. Once you get it adjusted, you bring the collar down and continue to manipulate it until you get your desired look. Sometimes depending on the collar, you will see a little bit of the tie going into your neck, but that's okay. It actually adds a lot of style, in my opinion, to the tie. So don't worry about that. Just with a wider neck, you're gonna see it. Now, another thing you wanna do is make sure this smaller tie is tucked in to the smaller loops in the back of the tie. So basically guys, that's the forehand. hand. So next I'm gonna show you guys probably the most tied knot, and that's the half Windsor. So let's get out of this and get started. But basically this knot, if someone was to ever teach you how to tie a tie, they probably taught you the half Windsor. So it's probably the most common knot that you'll see tied. So basically you wanna do the exact same thing, have half and half. You wanna bring the larger end over the smaller end. Then we're gonna bring it under, okay? You're gonna go through the top down this this hole here and you want to create like a little shoulder see that you want to create like a little shoulder now from here you can go over the same side or you can go on the other side I like to go the opposite side because it creates a more symmetrical look so basically you go over the top and go under and then you finish bringing it down the middle of this hole. Now after that, everything else is basically manipulating the tie to get that perfect triangle that, that you see most guys have. So to do that, you basically hold the bottom of the knot. To bring it up, you pull the small end. And to tighten this knot more, you just pull the larger end and tighten it more. That gives you that crisp triangle. So you should end up with your perfect triangle. Okay. Then let the collar down. Don't forget to tuck the smaller end into the loops in the back of the tie. And there you have it, a nice symmetrical half Windsor knot. Add your tie bar and you're good to go. So that's it for today guys. Those are two basic ways you can tie a tie. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. If you're already part of Jay Baker Style Family, definitely hit that notification bell so you can get updates whenever I put out new style tips. So that's it for today guys. See you next time.